Hey everybody. Um, hope you're doing well. Try and get in the camera here. And you can see me alright and hear me alright. Um, this is going to be another uh, inspiration from the trap line. Um, hope you're doing well. Hope everything's going good for you. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. But, um, just have a verse here again today. What I feel God wanted me to to read. It's from Ephesians, Ephesians 4:29. Um, says, "Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them." Um, you know. Uh, I think sometimes, well, I know, I don't think I know sometimes, I know I, I personally don't do that, uh, you know, I, I, I get in the zone, I guess you could call it, of, of just trying to get things done and keep moving, and I'm, I don't always, my words aren't always encouraging to others, um, you know, and, and I'll be first to admit, you know, I'm not always not necessarily encouraging and to to my wife and, and son. Um, you know, I, I think if anybody's honest out there that they're not always that way with their family. Um, you know, you get you get focused on what you're doing and, and somebody says something and you're just like, don't not now. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, and I'm I'm guilty of that. But I'm trying <clears throat> I'm trying to be be better at that and and trying to let my words um, to others be be an encouragement and be good to them, something that'll lift them up. Uh, you know, especially my family. But also, um, the others I come in contact with, uh, you know, it's, it's important though I feel that we do focus too on our family a lot. I mean, you need to be an encouragement to those around you and be a light to those around you. But, um, I think it starts with your family, uh. And like I said, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not always the best at that. <laughs> um, but I I pray that you just take this verse and and apply it to your life. Um, you know, be be an encouragement to those that you are close to and around. Um, it's not always easy. Like I said, you get focused, you get going on on your thing and I guess that's somewhat selfishness but um, you get so focused that it's like alright I, I, I've got to do this right now I, I can't worry about that let, let me let me do this especially guys <laughs> men are one track mind women they multitask and all that stuff but I mean I multitask too but women have a little are a little better at that but, uh, yeah, so just think about it. Next time, you know, you're, you're focused and you're, you're like, just not now, just leave me alone. Um, you know, let your words be an encouragement and a light, especially to um, your kids, especially if you have kids at home and they're young. Um, and I... I'll admit, I, I struggle with that too, with, with my son. You know, I, I, there's times I do the same thing. Um, but we we need to focus more on, on things. You know, you can pray all you want to. Um, and yes, God will give you strength to do these things and help to do these things. But um, you, you've got to show, you've got to make an effort to do it too you can't just be like dear lord uh help me and and just 
not put any effort into it on your own you know I mean you you've got to make an effort to um, to be an encouragement if you will um, because if you're not going to put effort into it um, yes God can do whatever but he needs you to to make effort to it into that thing too so well hopefully this is some kind of encouragement and help to somebody and and just uh, remember just be a be an encouragement to uh, family friends and those you come in contact with so I guess that'll be it um, until next time take care God bless hope you're doing well <laughs>